Uh, jumping into the chat here, we got a few uh, things that we can talk about here. Reaper Zero One, pour the strong stuff. I'll wait. Ready on the right, ready on the left. Yep. Blake, fire at will. Let's Wango see. Tango in the email. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, this Wango is going to be good. Tango. Oh, no. Oh, no. The subject says dick worm pending. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Let me, uh, Dinoside 13's <laughs> wine here. Here we go. <laughs> Last week, I got a phone call from Razor Blade Chick asking me out to lunch. <gasps> the one who carved his, her, his name into her body in multiple no, places no, that was no. kneeling on the rice. At first, I said no, but agreed once she said her husband would be present as I thought it was safe. Upon arriving, they were very nice and bought my meal, including anything extra I wanted, so naturally I was suspicious. But to my surprise, the husband finally explained that they wanted to film a cuck scene for their Ornpay Hub account. Oh my god, no. My first thought was hell no until they offered me $300 along with complete anonymity during the scene. Let me guess, the next line is don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> my first thought was wait till Pop and Blake hear this d worm be damned. <laughs> so on the day of the shoot. Oh god. There we go. Everything was ready when I got there. But th oh, here we go. But things went left as they locked the three of us in the basement, and I saw the shock collar around the husband's neck. Oh, no. I tried to back out, but the husband pleaded with me that everything was safe and above board as the couple did this often when they were away with relatives. Oh, God! Not with relatives! <laughs> in disregard to shock collar, Grandma. It's nothing. This is what shitty people do. They gave me another $300 to stay. Once the scene was underway, this chick would repeatedly shock and verbally castrate this guy regularly, even going so far as gargling my bazooka juice. God damn. Each prophylactic before spitting it in his face and discarding them. Also, I never heard this many, many shag-related N-bombs from a white woman in my life. This went on for four hours with breaks until I noticed these two were bugging out and doing weird <laughs> Then Razor Chick broke out in a wild seizure and the guy was barely conscious. It took me an hour to find the key to the padlock on the basement door. And once <laughs> the EMT arrived, it was discovered that these two had overdosed on ecstasy pills and would need immediate stomach pumps. The hospital determined that in addition to the pills, the chick needed to be treated for vaginal inflammation caused by dehydration and increased friction during the scene. Oh, my God. Fortunately, when the cops arrived, I was let go as the scene was filmed and the husband explained that I knew nothing about the drugs. But these two are being charged for possession of controlled substances. I'll try my best All to right. get police reports and or hospital records as proof. All right. I know it's my fault. So as of tonight, I'm officially taking the next week off from chicks. Uh, first, first of all, first of all, if I go to somebody's house... And they <laughs> lock me in. I am going into full combat mode until I get the f out of there. <laughs> I will. I would not tolerate that at all. And uh, Sogo just put this one in my my head, man. If if he had had to give either one of them an adrenaline shot, pulp friction. Beer, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> oh god, damn, oh, that's, that's terrible. terrible, terrible, terrible. <sighs> We should that, just end but, early tonight. All right, but, we'll see you guys on Thursday. I'm out. What, but the thing is, <laughs> wow, this is becoming normalized. It's disgusting. It is. It is. Well, this is what happens when men are not being raised with a father in the house. And, the, and they the, learn to idolize women. And they look to them as authority figures. The testosterone is like sinking into the basement for men. <laughs> Yeah, and it doesn't help that a bunch of these morons drink tap water. You know, it's not like it's filled with the, uh, you know, the estradiols from all that birth control that these chicks are taking or anything. <laughs> Just gargle it and spit it out. Oh dudes. god, Ugh, it's disgusting. In fantasy, I die. The woman who hit on me at work is now leaving me alone after finding out I have no social media. I'm invisible, so I can't be controlled. Winning. Nice. That's the way to do it, guys. Have well, as small a footprint as possible. We're going to probably have to...
put that in uh, the Working Man Survival Guide because that was yes. actually that's one of the strategies. Yeah, or at the very least, if you're going to have a page, have it be a fake name and use it as a lurker page so that you can see what these people might be doing behind your back. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.